just finished and got back from the gym it's right before 10 now i think um yeah i thought i'd do a day in my life today i haven't vlogged in a while because mm. i've been procrastinating editing my vlog from china it's like it's got so much footage i think it's got like three four hours of footage and it's just a bit intimidating to start editing it so i don't know maybe this video will help me get motivated to do that again but anyways um yeah, i'm gonna go to the shower and I really have to wash my hair. It's so oily. And like when I have this new hair color, like the copper hair color, um, oh shit, whenever um, it's oily, it really shows, especially with the bangs. But um, I washed my bangs this morning because I didn't want to look like, you know, when it's like separated really badly. I'm just going to have a really slow day today, I think. I don't have much going on. Uh, one of my friends is coming over for a movie night because I got a new TV with my flatmate and I'm so excited. Like, it took us five hours to install it and it was so stressful, but we did it. <laughs> and um, yeah, now we have a nice big TV in our flat. So I'm really excited for that. I've been updating my summer playlist recently because it's getting warmer and I only update this once a year. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. I just, it's more just like, well, I call it um, B roll in the summer because it's more like background music because I don't like it when my flat's quiet. I just made a bunch of background music for the summer, but I'm gonna give it a listen and see if it's any good. If it is, this is what we'll be listening to this whole summer B roll in the summer. <laughs> ish and yeah i had breakfast i ate that really slow because <laughs> i was doom scrolling on my phone but it's fine last night my manager just sent me a bunch of new work to get done for um our deadlines so i'm gonna get started on that yeah i think today is just a really slow day i don't really know what else i'm doing um on my list so far i just have finishing these i think i have six video drafts to send over for like this week and I think I'm gonna try to do all six so that I can have like the rest of the weekend free and stuff but I'll just see what, how many I can do. That's all I really have on my list and I wanted to also fold up my laundry but it's just errands stuff really because it's like the end of the week and I gotta clean up a bit. I want to crochet. That's all. That's all I've kind of like spend my time doing now. Working crochet. Oh I might want to go to Battersea later just to go to the boots because they have like a boots beauty there so they have a bigger elf selection because all the shops around me they don't have elf which sucks and I really want to get the elf like blush stick because I have this highlighter stick from the face shop you know use it like this it's kind of, it reminds me of a nude stick you know my sister has a nude stick and I really like that but um I've heard the elf one's really pretty from one of my friends and also you can apparently use it for lipstick so all in one i want to start editing my china vlog video but it's just i see this every day like i want to edit it and i never do it so let's just see if i do it today i'm going to clean my flat because my friend's coming for movie night and dinner which i'm so excited for she's one of my bestest friends i met her like one of the first people i met when i went to london so i'm really excited and yeah i'm just gonna do some work um it's gonna be very boring today don't know why i chose to vlog today but I guess it's a very normal day in my life now and I also miss my flatmate so much he went back to Sweden to see his family and I'm very bored in the flat without him but yeah I was just scrolling 
scrolling for a little bit on my phone and I didn't realize her is having their sample sale and I just checked it was it's so close to me so at first I was like oh I'm not gonna go because it's most likely gonna be in East London it's not in East London and I just got a ticket so this is what I'll be doing today I'm gonna finish working eat some lunch get ready and go so the plan of today has changed the to-do list completely scrapped and we have a new one <laughs> I've been listening to so much Luna Lee recently. I am, I, I love Luna Lee so much. She's like one of the best concerts I ever went to. And I remember it was quite a, a spontaneous concert and I made my friend Daniela go with me and I made her a Luna Lee fan too. So she's been on my top Spotify artist for a few years in a row now. So she's always on the list. So I just, you know, I really love Luna Lee. I wish I could play the guitar as good as her so that I could play her songs too, but it's really hard. And I do keep practicing, but um, I'm starting to grow my nails out too. So it's just, do I want nails or do I want to play guitar like Luna Lee? Currently, I want nails. But look, these are my most recent set. I got them done for my birthday and they're by um, this really cool nail tech. Uh, her username is Kimmy Designs. She is the best. She's so good. Like, look at these nails and they're 3D. It's my first time getting 3D nails. Yeah. And I mean, if I go to sample sale, that means I have less time to crochet, but it's okay. Um, I'm so excited for this crochet project because I haven't crocheted in a while just because I've been in a rut where like I don't really know what I want to crochet like do I want to make clothes do I want to make little trinkets and stuff because I have so many things but I just don't know what to do with them anymore because they're all like experimental crochet pieces so I'm making this huge tapestry of this I saw this painting on like Pinterest like a few years ago I think like in 20... I want to say during COVID-ish time, her name is Aya, Aya Takano But um, I'm crocheting one of her paintings into this like tapestry piece Just because it's one of my favorite paintings ever I also don't know how to wear um, mascara without it getting all over my eyelid Like the past few days, I feel like I've been in a rut Not, I don't know what type of rut to describe it in specifically Because it's not just a creative rut It's like I feel like I'm creatively stuck Because I don't know what I want to do Like do I want to keep having my this current job and like I don't know, there's, I don't feel like there's any progression I can get with this current job which is why I feel like iffy, like should I find something else where I can progress in but then if I change, like what do I want to do? Do I, know, do I want to do graphic design because that's what I studied and what I've been doing for the past few years of my life or do I want to um, go into social media because I really enjoy that as well And but then if I do, I don't know, I'm just... I'm scared because I graduated almost... I don't want to say almost a year ago because then that's like too real, you know? But I graduated last year in June and now it's March and I just turned 23 and 23 just feels like such an adult number. I thought I would have it figured out as like, you know, when you were younger. Like I'm pretty sure at 17 I thought like um, by 23 I kind of know what I want to do but now I really don't know what to do. Like I don't know which career I want to like pursue and I don't know just what I want to do but I just feel really lost I think also mainly because my job right now is completely remote so I don't interact with anybody on my team and most of the time I'm at home working and I don't really like going to cafes to work because I don't know I just like being in my room I guess but then sometimes I feel like when I'm in my room I just don't feel stimulated enough because it's like my safe space it's my room and I get to do whatever I want in here um so I don't I don't know like but I do like my job because of how flexible it is like this is why I'm going to the sample sale because I, I I can because it's such a flexible job I have Okay, eyeliner done. I don't think they're that equal But this eyeliner is my favorite eyeliner I've used the Judy doll eyeliner and this Judy doll eyeliner like it's firstly it's brown Um, This one is so smooth. It's like I literally just draw one line It's fine I don't really need to fill it in or anything because it's the perfect thickness and they also have one that's like slightly thinner So a lot of people draw their like egg yolk style with it, but my eyebrow pencil. I'm using the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I used to use the NYX one, but tell me why recently the NYX one just breaks. Like, like the spoolie, it just broke. Like, and it's fine. Like, I love the pencil, I do, but why? Why does this- and also it's like 11 pounds now or something, and this was only like 4 pounds. I hope you like this non-makeup tutorial, but yapping session that I just did. Um, yeah. <laughs> Attention this 
something quite extraordinary, quite incredible, quite unlike anything you may have experienced in your life. Second morning, the trust wrong. It's meant to be like this. People are wrong as well. I didn't get anything at the sample sale, but it's okay. The waiting line for the changing room was so long, and I really like that dress, but I just think it doesn't suit my body type well because I don't have like a snatched waist, and it was making me look very rectangular. But. It's fine, I'm gonna go to Boots and try to find that blush thing I was looking for and hopefully they have it. They don't have my product. Oh, okay, today has been a big fat flop, but it's okay. It's okay. I was also looking for the lip oil, but they didn't have the right shade, so they have nothing. I've been home for a little bit now, but all I've been doing is rotting and using my phone for like a good hour maybe not an hour almost an hour the sun's out now and it's so nice and i've done nothing besides looking at my phone i need to finish work actually so yeah and then i need to clean my flat because my friend's coming over but um yeah not much has happened i'm gonna get back to work minutes-ish cleaning the sun is setting it was really pretty and now it's just like the last few bits but it's almost seven and the sun is setting that's crazy but um i'm gonna crochet i've been thinking about crocheting the whole day and i'm so excited so basically this is like what i have right now so i've gone into her feet and i've just like worked up each bit i made the whole pattern on stitch fiddle so it was so complicated to make actually, but it's okay. And I think I've done the water patterns pretty well. Um, I'm terrible at like counting the stitches and aligning it and stuff. But right now it's like, I can give you a size reference. So this is like, what row am I on? 46 and there's like 180 rows, I think. So that's how large it's gonna be. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep crocheting until Mia gets here. I think she's gonna be here in about an hour. So I'll see, I probably won't get a lot done just cause this pattern is so complex, but I'm gonna watch some Avatar. Mm -hmm. 